So you may or may not know who Michael Trackey is. Now, he is somebody who's on Twitter a lot. A lot of people hate him. I would say most people on the planet do not like Michael Trackey. I'm not even sure if he has any fans. He's a quote-unquote journalist. Really, he's just sort of somebody who has these hot takes. He's a contrarian is what he is, right? He just loves to be a contrarian for the purpose of being a contrarian. You know, he's more of a Tulsi fan or whatever this time around. So one of those cringe losers. Um, and so he got called out, okay? Now, he didn't just get called out for having, like, this old take that was completely wrong. But actually, he was trying to be pompous and trying to really gloat about progressives being wrong, about their predictions about Joe Biden. And what people found was a pretty embarrassing prediction of his in the past. So he deleted a tweet, I guess. Um, I think that was his tweet at the top. He deleted it. But it goes on to say, Lots of people are upset I've pointed out the uncomfortable fact that many progressive media stars, just like corporate media stars, are extremely lacking in analytical foresight. COVID is a poor excuse for making chronically wrong BS predictions. If I de uh, declaratively and definitively said Biden will lose in March, COVID or no COVID, I would deserve to have people owning me nine months later if it turned out Biden did in fact win. Having a lucrative media platform comes with certain responsibilities. Sorry. So already he's sort of going after and he's sort of um, trying to beat down on these quote progressives with lucrative media platforms. So he's already sort of overstating the uh, situation and, you know, infrastructure that progressives have. They progressives are in a marginalized position from the jump. So it's already cringy that you're doing this in the first place. But a lot of progressives said, man, it's probably not likely Joe Biden can beat Donald Trump and for good reason. Now, Kyle Kalinske responded to that tweet that is now deleted by Michael Trackey. I don't know what it said. Kyle said, now show how I flipped my take and declared how Biden will win as soon as COVID hit and the economy imploded. I followed the evidence at the time and followed the evidence when it flipped, but congrats on your Twitter burn, bro. Michael Trackey then responds saying, Kyle, I like and appreciate you 99% of the time, but flipping your take isn't a valid defense when you've issued declarative ironclad statements like this. It's a chronic problem in the industry. So this is really, really stupid um, because there are very high odds that Joe Biden would not have won without COVID and George Floyd. If the, if the George Floyd situation didn't occur, as well as coronavirus, it's actually pretty unlikely that Joe Biden would have found a way to, won, uh, to have won. Now, if he's running in 2016, he might have won. Um, but once Trump was already in, like he was kind of running off a lot of these like fake good numbers on the, uh, on the economy. And it was pretty difficult for Democrats to really find some stuff to really pin on to him. And COVID and George Floyd ended up being the perfect disasters that would take down the Trump administration and Trump himself. How could you possibly see, like, when is the last time that there's been something compared to COVID? Like, in the United States. When was the last time, what, like the Spanish flu in the 20s? Um, you know, in the, in the 1910s, like late 1910s? How are you supposed to be able to forecast that? Nobody would have expected this coming. So it's stupid to try to like, it, it's just so pompous, so self-absorbed, so douchebaggy. And it's so ridiculous when you look at it, logically speaking. And also, you know, you're kind of responding to what's going on at the time. How the hell are you supposed to know COVID was going to happen? How would you possibly know that? Same thing with George Floyd. How would you know that's going to happen? If anything, somebody saying that that would happen, you would probably be the pompous one. Otherwise, I don't see how you could have guessed it. But it, it gets funnier. It gets way funnier. So they actually dug up a hilarious prediction of Michael Trackey. And so I don't know if you can see this here, but what it says is this is on the date... Um, it says, Ted Cruz will be the 2016 GOP nominee. Yes, I am writing an essay to that effect. Just accept it, people. Then he sent another one out saying, Ted Cruz is the front runner for the 2016 GOP presidential nomination. I outlined the case at Amcon Mag. Then he says, for the late night crowd, Ted Cruz is going to win the 2016 GOP nomination. So just accept that and move on. I explain. Then he says here, I predicted several months ago Cruz will be the 2016 GOP nominee, and I stand by the pick. And so he was obviously dead wrong about that. Now, I would even be willing to, you know, give the kind of details or sort of context of, like, you know, Ted Cruz could have won if the Republicans 
uh, like Ted Cruz and, and the establishment like Ted Cruz, and they were willing to co- coalesce around him because there were a lot of candidates in the 2016 field. And in 2020, the Democratic primary, the way that the de- Democrats coalesced around Joe Biden, they could have done that around Ted Cruz. Um, and also, nobody really could have seen Trump winning. I could give you all that context, and I think it would be accurate. But no, according to Michael Trackey, there's no such thing as context because, you know, um, having a lucrative media platform comes with certain responsibilities. Sorry. Michael Trackey is probably one of the biggest annoying douchebags on the internet. I don't know who is a fan of Michael Trackey. I don't know who reads this guy's garbage. I don't know who listens to this loser. I mean, is there anything more embarrassing than being Michael Trackey? Genuinely, seriously, imagine being Michael Trackey. Think about how sad that is. Just being, imagine being such a pompous douchebag, and then people get to like pull up stuff of you saying the same types of stuff, and you're just being a contrarian for contrarian's purposes. You are a loser, a serious loser, dude. 